and welcome to Fiskeri Deret Katoretet or something like that. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Upright and breezy. We have a very adventurous day today ahead of us. This is where the adventure begins for me, for certain. We're heading on a beautiful train ride from here in Oslo all the way over to Bergen. It takes about seven hours. Fabiola's done it before, but she doesn't remember too much of it, so that's handy. Uh, but yeah, looks like one of the most scenic train journeys here in Norway, if not the world, to be honest with you. So really looking forward to it. So we're just getting the bus now. We're going to find the bus station here. I think we can see the sign. And then uh, let's head on down to Chinatown. Oh, let's go and do this. When you lose your girlfriend in a train station and she's hanging out by the Mexican taqueria. folks our cozy little cabin for the journey okay so let me just butt in for a second if you have no interest in the train journey then please skip forward to five minutes and 45 seconds this is a bit lengthy otherwise enjoy the ride folks
Welcome to Bergen! How did you enjoy that folks? How did you enjoy that? I thought that was fan bloody tastic. What a ride, one of the best train journeys I've had in my life, I swear down. Thumbs up. Anyways, we've got to go and find our apartment now. It's pretty close by and it looks like Fort Knox to get in there. So many locks to get through. But anyways, we're here. Bergen, Air, uh, Bergen train station. Multitasking folks, filming, dragging the bags, doing everything. <laughs> okay folks, so we've checked in, we've checked in real quick because we are starving. Fabiola's there, she's hambre, hungry, she's dying for some food. Let's make a wait, let's make a wait. Anyways. Just found this cute little <laughs> we just found this cute little place and Fabiola has come across another Mexican place funnily enough I think she's definitely homesick anyways let's continue down this very cute little street <laughs> after Fabiola stopped behaving like a little monkey we got something to eat and got an early night after all it was pretty hard work sitting on that train and taking in those beautiful landscapes Good morning, folks. Hola. Good morning. It's very wet this morning, as you can see here in bed again. So we're just going to head on into town now. We've just woken up, had some breakfast, and um, woken up to a nice wet day. But this was promised. Bergen is one of the wettest places on the whole planet, apparently. So um, we're just going to head to the information centre now. We need to find out a few things, and we're going to head and have a little scout around the town here while we've got some light, as it went dark quite quick when we were here last night. So anyways, folks, we're on the way, and all of a sudden, already we have some beautiful buildings. I'll bite the weather is grim, but hey-ho, we've got to make the most of these days, eh? You can't moan about the weather too much. So let's plod on to Chinatown. I love these buildings, all these wooden slatted buildings. Seems the tradition here. There's a Bergen style McDonald's. Clearly they're not allowed to uh, use their standard shitty buildings. So they've had to keep it traditional, which is very nice. This is the port, folks. This is the port of Bergen. It's more, more so over there, really. But um, you've got the mountain behind us here and you've got the, what do they call it, Bobby? It's like a gondola. There's like a thing you can get up to. Yeah, you can get up to the top there. We're gonna do that today, I think. The rain's on and off, so it's not too bad. But um, yes, man, check out bed again. A lovely little restaurant there on the port front. And we're just heading over to an area, which I believe is called Bruggen. 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 I'm gonna put the name on the screen anyway. I don't know how to say it. Just like many of the names anyway. There's a little famous bit of, there's some nice little buildings ahead here, so we're going to check them out anyways, okay? Pardon me for my terrible Norwegian. So just before we arrive to the, uh, the more famous buildings, you've got these huge, huge brick buildings. They look amazing. Really, really nice. So here we go, folks. Bridgen, Bridgen. Beautiful, beautiful buildings. So this is one of the more popular things to come and see here in, in, in Bergen. Very nice. Fabiola's been here before, obviously. And she's got a photo here, so I need to get my own photo here. So they're pretty old buildings, these folks, also. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but look how bent that door is. There, folks, is the Norwegian version of the Radisson Blue Hotel. Very nice. Probably the best Radisson Blue I've ever seen. Do you think, Barbie? 
I love the way they're not able, they're not allowed to uh, change the buildings around here, you know? It's like that in certain places in the UK, in some of the cities. They have to keep everything as traditional as possible, which is the, uh, the case here, which is amazing. I love it. So let's go inside of the crooked buildings to see exactly how crooked they are. Yeah. So yeah, beyond the the walls of them them buildings we've seen in Breigen, Bridgen. This is what lies behind the walls. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you're picking it up on the uh, on the camera here, but they're really crooked, no? Very crooked. A little bit like the shambles in York. If you've been there. Okay, so what we have here is the waterfront fortress which was built in the 13th century and uh, it's home now to the war museum uh, so it just tells you everything that what happened in the war here the world war ii in bergen so um, but i think you have to pay to go in which i don't think we're going to do today but we just thought we'd have a little little squiz at the place So we're just on the other side of the port here. That's where we were before with all them beautiful little houses in the distance. And welcome to Fiskeri Direit Katoretet. Or something like that. Mexican, outside a Mexican. So in the middle of town here also you have this beautiful little lake stroke pond. Many many swans in the distance there, many birds. But yeah nice place to come down, chill out. Well there we go folks, that was a beautiful little traipse around Bergen. And now we are heading to a thing called Floy Banen, which is a cable car to the top of the mountain here, which gives you some beautiful views of the town. So we've decided to come just before it starts getting dark, so we get the option of seeing it in the daylight and at night time. So up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Anyways, folks, let's go and do this. So here we go, the Floy Banen. Here we are folks, we've reached the top. We've reached the top. Check it out. Slightly foggy. There we have Bergen, that's Bergen. Beautiful. So as you can see, there's the port down there. It's very misty, the fog's coming in big time. There's that, um, lake that we were walking around before just down there there's the other big port down there so we've just come across this little shelter here there's some beautiful little goats taking some shelter look check these out hello little fella So we've just come across this little place and it can be rented for accommodation. <laughs> Check that out man. A little tree house floating. Well, that's probably one of the best places I've seen to stay in the woods. We've also got a little year up here as well. I didn't realise there was accommodation available up here. 
but yeah so when you get when you get the cable car up here um, once you come to the top of the mountain it gives you access to many paths that you can walk uh, up and up on the mountains here that are above Bergen you know so um, it's not just to come up here for the view it's also to start some amazing hikes which unfortunately I'm not gonna have time to do but never mind never mind next time a good excuse to come back to Bergen I guess but check it out man look at that if you ever want some quirky accommodation in Bergen there's your little spot right there well folks on a rainy day what better to do than get a little beer she's getting a hot chocolate <laughs> but the views are pretty grim out there check that out it's gone really overcast now really overcast so a good excuse to sit down chill we're just waiting for it to go dark basically so we wanted to see what it's like at the night time here but I'm not sure we're going to get much of a view to be honest with you but um, we're going to wait it out and see so, Provecho Barbie, enjoy your hot chocolate As we're just enjoying our little beverage I've just noticed it's clearing up folks it's clearing up nicely but look at the beautiful clouds leaving Bergen Look at that, very Norwegian I've just noticed one of the little goats has come out to play Come to say hello. Hello, matey. Hello. Hello. No, oh, beautiful. What oh, a beautiful little pig. Oh, hello. Yeah. You're beautiful, aren't you? Hmm. You're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna leave you be. Thank you for saying hello. Adios. Adios. It's getting dark, folks, it's getting dark. There we go, that was the ride up to the mountain. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you can see me because it's real dark in here. But anyways, we're gonna head off back home now. We're gonna get some food tonight. And then we're gonna get up for a nice road trip in the morning. So, we shall see you then. Adios. <laughs>